Right, I'm going to be doing that um, drainage out there next time I'm here, but today we're doing this first. So, we're going to have water. So, you need to get this one off, which is currently stuck on. Ugh, spider. Let's get a bit of copper pipe and just get rid of that spider. Right, it's gone. The nest in these pipes, you see. I think we'll have to make do with this and get this toilet pan up because she ain't moving nowhere. I would mainly bring my tripod, but I'm not going to be staying here long, so it's just a bit of. Plumbing stuff. There's gonna be water go everywhere because I've obviously I've got the other bag connected, but so I've got that out. Cheap guy, what this is. See how easy that could be. Yeah, yeah, not good quality for sure. So, we've done that. We've got a bit of excess water just dripping out of there. So, now we need to shine up. A little bit of water in there. Just lubricating these seals with a bit of water. That's what I usually do when I'm in the shed. Possibly, I haven't always got a water supply in here. Oh, I hope this fits in. We're going to have that going on to the back of that. Also, I'm going to have to lubricate this up and get it on like that. Uh, so, it's going to put you down for a second. Just get some. Open up the bolt onto that. That's in. There we go. So that's completely done, that bit. Um doesn't seem to be leaking. Now is next bit where we will screw the pan back down to the floor. Obviously we don't want this pan moving around. Obviously it's not like we're going to use the toilet but still then the part where it comes out. And otherwise the toilet will move around. That's fine. So. 
Now we need to. Oh, so that's tight. Take the grips. Yeah, the feel that's going to be. doing. I may have to change the fill valve actually so it's just going to be one of them. Feels not to be changed. A bit of water in there. Very normal. With a flexi hose, it could be all right. While well, I'm doing this, while well, I've got this off, I'm just going to nip that up. Okay. So I'm just going to go and get the flexi. Cutter, pipe glide, also olive, really good then, for the flexi hose. <sighs> so, let's give it a go down. There, let's just move this here. Obviously the first cut's easy, it's just trying to make that tight enough to get in. This is obviously the, I've got slack on this pipe, but as I'm doing this job, I'm gonna do it how you would actually do it. Um, This only feeds up to there. Maybe a bit of water in this, I don't know. Yeah, it's nice deep pipe slice. And also this excess piece of pipe I'm gonna use for the isolation valve and thing. Thinking about putting a clip somewhere. I'd mostly um, thingy, but in this on this occasion, I'm not going to. I mostly clean these pipes, but it seems we're going fine. My foot line's going to the pipes. Not too bad. Right, right now, if you want, you can put a bit of PTFE on these, but I'm not going to today. Um. 
can actually grip it from there. And tighten it up. I've got plenty of play on this pipe, so. And now this one. So now we need a piece of 15 mil. See where that's gonna go. Just gonna cut that about there. So, while I've got this off, I'm going to now do this compression fitting on here. Because this one needs doing. On the flexi hose. It's just normal compression fitting again, nothing different to the one I've just done. may not be able to see what I'm doing just here. I'll try and get it in the shop. So basically I'm just nipping this up just enough to make it watertight. Right, that's definitely nipped up, fine. Now this compression that on what I'm going to use is an isolation valve. Which I don't have to use an isolation valve, but I've chose to. Because it's kind of the regulations these days. Which am I going to get that olive off or not? No. That olive is said to me it is not coming off. Right, I need another piece of copper. My hands are so wet that it doesn't. Uh, It's cutting out. It's because my hand, one of my hands are wet, so it slides. Again, you've seen me cut this bit of pipe before. I was mainly on the tripod, but today, as I said, I'm only here. Well, I haven't even done half the job there. There's a little bit there anyway. That'll be fine, I've got this one here. Hoping that'll be... No, that's scrap these. Only a bit of it, really. It's just estimating really, that's all you need to do. Right, that should... Work out there. Right, I need a nut and oil. I need two of it. Because it's a compression fitting. Yeah. 
I know I'm using a uh, wrong coloured nut, but it'll have to do. It's just really a normal ball thick gel. Not cheap ones, these aren't. I don't like using cheapies because it just will not work well with them. Is in the flexi part because it's not been nipped up fully. So if you don't nip it up fully, it doesn't obviously seal and you can move your pipe around then. Right, let's just actually well, that's just about because it was wasn't done it properly. But these ones are pain when they're happening. So Should be fine. I can't see that going anywhere yet. Right, now I've got another fitting to do, just this last one here, which is another compression. Which is another bulk one, probably. I like to do what I can before I put it in because it makes life much easier than when you can't play that. There we go. So, I do not want to have to take this fitting apart again because I won't be getting the oils back for sure. So this is frustrating this can be, doing many of these, especially these grips are not the best anymore, they slide around sometimes. Right, I've chafed off some of the stuff on there but it should be fine. Right, I'm going to do something I don't recommend. Actually, I won't do it that way. I'll just make sure this nut and all the goes on this piece of pipe fine first. Because otherwise, it won't be a very good thing to have happen. So, I want it that way. I will need just to nip this up first. You can see there's a lot of play in that. Right. 
have to not put it in. Okay. So we've got this pipe, which is the isolation valve. And then we've got this one down here, which is the compression system we need to be doing up. to the fill valve. Right, so we're gonna go with it like that. This fill valve's been cross-threaded. It's a DM, so what you expect. Right, it's gonna sit on the bog. I think it's cross threading still, which I think I'm going to have to change the fill valve as well, which I don't want to. Oh, looks like it's going to have to be a fill valve change. Even more better, because it's what happens is it chafes this with a sail valve as well. Um, I've got part two in here. Part of it. Anyway, I'm lucky I even have another thread piece. just goes on. So the trick is if you just do it go into like you feel it like go in properly like that, that kind of slip in it's when you know it's working. Right which way do you go? This way I think. this one now. 